Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Well, I've got an update for you on the bushcraft gathering. It is slowly coming. Uh, I haven't designed the patch, or the patch, the sticker yet, but I'm working on it. Once I get that design done, I'll put it on Instagram and let everybody see what it looks like. Put it on here, let everybody see it. But uh, I've got some updates for you. I have found out who the guest speaker will be on Saturday night. The guest speaker Saturday night after the potluck will be Chris Smith. Chris Smith competed in season nine of Forged in Fire. He is a local boy from here in Kentucky over around Harrodsburg, but he is going to be our guest speaker. I believe he placed second in his episode I think that's what they told me, but that's who our guest speaker is going to be. Uh, I have spoke to some of the individuals from last year that were wanting to put on competitions. Uh, James from Harshman Hills is going to do the best camp chili and also the best cup of coffee. So he's going to do two competitions and he's going to have prizes for both. I've got to touch base with him and figure out what day he's wanting to do all of this so I can kind of put a schedule of events together. Uh, I had one gentleman reach out to me and wanted to know if I'd be interested in a blacksmithing demonstration. And I've got to touch base with him again, make sure he's going to be able to come, but I believe we're going to have a blacksmith there doing a demonstration for us as well. And then I've got a few other people I've got to reach out and touch base with from last year to see if they're going to be available this year. The KTBA guys have changed their lineup a little. Usually their event starts on Friday afternoon. This year it is going to start on Thursday afternoon. So it won't really affect us. They're still going to have the gate open on Wednesday the 3rd for everybody to start coming in and setting up. But now, instead of being two and a half days for the traditional Bow Hunters Association, it's going to be three and a half days. So they've worked in an extra day with that. As of now, I don't have any idea what the weather is going to be like. I've looked at it and it's changed a couple of times. So I'm going to wait till closer to the middle of March and try to get an extended forecast out so everybody can have an idea of what to expect. But uh, that's the info I've got now. Once I talk to these other individuals to confirm that they're coming and they're still going to do their competitions and classes, I will let you know. Um, once I get all of that squared away, I'll put a schedule up on Instagram and then I'll share it here. So there we go. Just a quick update. Like, share, subscribe. I'll get another one up for you soon.